The Sterling by Music Man Axis SUB. Almost budget friendly? Is it almost good or actually the real deal? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to another video with me, Elmo J. Karjalainen. You can call me this guy if my name is tricky to pronounce. Today we're taking a look at the Axis SUB by Music Man Sterling, which is the budget version of Music Man. Now, this isn't entirely budget friendly. I don't, I mean, I kind of draw the line at 400 euros for some reason. If you think 500 euros is the line, then this is budget friendly because it costs 429 euros here in Europe. Uh, I don't know what it goes for in the States, you can let me know in the comments. So, I'm going to check out looks, specs, feel and sound. Let's start with specs. It has a basswood body, maple neck, jatoba fretboard, 12 inch fretboard radius, 22 frets, uh, nut width uh, 42 millimeters scale, 6 for 8 millimeters. Two pickups, uh, they're humbuckers but a five-way toggle switch. Interesting. So you should probably get some uh, in-between split tones. Uh, one tone, one volume, fulcrum, tremolo, black hardware, color black. The guitar is made in Indonesia and yeah, it looks, looks okay. Nothing spectacular, but not too budget either. Tuners look okay. There are a couple of dings on the back of the neck from transport um, or from the factory, I don't know, but anyway. The neck joint looks fine. Fret edges, there's no fret sprout uh, and we're in the middle or we're coming to... We're in... <laughs> we're in the beginning of December and it's cold outside here in Finland uh, and it's dry so you would have fret sprout if it were to develop that. It didn't come set up, but no huge issues as such. Um, on the back side, you can see that the tremolo block is that thin type of thing, uh, which isn't brilliant, but yeah, everything looks very nice. So let's see how it plays and yeah. So let's go through the pickups and see where the volume it works. <laughs> Yes, I do have uh, a Marshall Plexi which isn't entirely clean and that makes some people very sad. I also have some delay in the loop which also makes people sad. I have an overdrive pedal but like I said, uh, the amp isn't entirely clean. This is the kind of clean signal. You can clean that up with the volume pot. Second position, position. position in position in between position uh, that's nice if you want those stratier kinds of tones <laughs> This is the middle position. Fourth position.
and neck pickup. Check out the tone pot. So far it's uh, feeling and sounding quite nice. Let's add a bit of overdrive. Yeah, now, uh, if I know anything about the history of this guitar, and I don't, <laughs> well, I know something, it's a kind of continuation from uh, when Eddie Van Halen was on uh, Sterling, Sterling, on Music Man, uh, and he had his signature model, then he switched over to PV, and they continued to make his uh, signature model uh, in the form of the Axis. They might have changed a few things, probably did, I'm not entirely sure. Um, you can let me know the history of this in the comments and also everyone else who's interested. Uh, but so this is kind of vaguely related to uh, the old uh, kind of Eddie Van Halen type thing. So let's add more gain and see what it does as a kind of gain machine. <laughs>
before I go uh, bananas on the whammy bar, because I haven't really checked that out yet, uh, I am going to make a slight comparison here. I recently reviewed this. This is the EVH Wolfgang Standard, and it costs just over 100 euros more than the Sterling. And while the Sterling is quite good, I could probably sum this up this way. Uh, the Sterling is decent. It's okay. It's fairly... it's bordering on fairly good, I would say. This a guitar with pretty much the same kind of idea behind it. It's just, a, it, it's just on a different, totally different level. Uh, and that's just for a hundred or so euros more. Absolutely brilliant stuff. Now, granted, it does come with a Floyd Rose, so it should stay in tune better. But let's see how well the Sterling stays in tune. Let's give it a bit of a kind of moderate go first, and then a real proper go. So this is how it's in tune now. Actually, let me tune it first. Okay, so this is how it's in tune now. was a bit, let's see how it's in tune. Okay, let's give it a proper go. not half bad for this kind of a setup and I haven't done anything to the nut could improve tuning stability still uh, yeah fairly impressive so what's the overall verdict well for 429 euros I think there are better options out there uh, but if you're wanting this type of a thing well some it's something to check out uh, word of caution for buying any guitar try before you buy uh, if you're buying online be sure you can send it back. The Wolfgang that I mentioned, the EVH Wolfgang, it was also made in Indonesia, so it, there's a very good chance that these are actually made in the same factory, uh, but the Wolfgang is just so much better. Even though, for me, I prefer a non-Floyd guitar, uh, I would still have this over the Sterling, uh, and I don't like where they have the pickup selector, uh, I prefer the layout of the Sterling. Still, um, the Sterling is just okay. I mean, so my recommendation would be if you can save up and if you do want that this kind of thing, then save up a bit and get the EVH Wolfgang. But same thing again, try before you buy. And hey, 
<laughs> if someone wants to babysit my kids so I can practice a bit more, let me know. <laughs> Anyway, if you want to check out more of my guitar reviews, there's a playlist here, there's also a playlist with my music, please check that out, click like if you like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, uh, <laughs> hit that bell notification thing, uh, comment, let me know what you thought, if you have any experience with this or the Wolfgang, and uh, yeah, join me on Patreon, you get access to all of my music, my lessons, a bunch of exclusives, you can even take that stuff for free, there's a link to that in the description. I hope to see you there, and I hope you have a very nice day. Take care. Goodbye.